Recently, I've been working with Easton on the new E28 pattern. And we've been trying to set up a stick that puts the blade, the lie, the curve, everything in the right position so the kids shoot the puck correctly. And today, we're working with the Junior Kings, letting them know how the pattern works. So the E28 is set up with a dual lie. The back part of the blade sits on the ice when you're catching passes. The front part of the blade sits on the ice when you're shooting. So the blade has a toe curve and it's flipped under quite a bit. So when we shoot the puck, we're going to tip our hands forward and it actually wraps the blade right around the puck. Now we're in good position to shoot the puck. And also this blade is set up so when you shoot, the heel of your stick needs to be off the ice. When your heel's off the ice, you can flex the blade. Shaft flexes better, the blade flexes better, you get more power, you can control the height. And you're shooting the whole puck. Okay guys, we are going to start here. First guy's going to go out around the inside of that tire. You're going to pivot, have your stick down. I'll give you a pass, control the puck, and do a pull reverse shot. Keep the puck on the toe of your stick. Keep the heel of your stick off the ice a little bit. Just know the farther your hands are forward, the more you're going to flex the shaft and the blade. So the best shooters today catch the puck on the heel. The heel of the stick is the strongest part of that blade, and they shoot the puck off the toe. All they have to do is just shift their hands around a little bit, and they'll turn the blade so the puck slides to the toe of the stick, and then they can release it. Lean on it. Good shot. Make sure your heel stays off the ice. Good. Well, it's nice to work with kids that are skilled players, and it's nice to see kids that can just, when you tell them to lean on the toe, they can make that stick work. In the end, they start shooting the puck better.